Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, everybody have heard that Stormy is accusing the post office of stealing her products that she has packaged up. They have uh, at, to ship to her customers by way of the post office and in which they have spent their hard-earned money on. Stormy is alleging that the postal, the postal workers have ripped over the, opened the packages and just took the product. But I'm like, why, it, why would she bring the post office into this? A company that she depends on heavily to the, to deliver the products that her customers buy and she's going to bring the post office into it. Now, what if the post office is uh, tell start telling her or bring a lawsuit against her for defaming them? If this is not true, what if they bring a lawsuit against her for defamation? And what if they um, tell her we can no longer take your business because we don't want to be um you know because you defamed us trying to defraud your your customers and if it's not true i hope the post office make a statement and let let the people know that this is not true because i know just like any business they don't want bad reps uh and of course with you know with the good you're going to have the bad there're going to be pros and cons and stuff like that and Every business is not 100% perfect or whatever, but you expect them to be when you're using their services. I mean, we have, um, we have had many cases where the post office, where, um, mail has been tampered with and it's, it's been many instances where the post office have been liable. So the, so for someone to actually bring them into something that they have nothing to do with i'm quite sure they would take that very very seriously so if stormy is lying or being untruth or just using them um for um trying to save her reputation of her company trying to save face with her customers and with the people then i feel as though this was a failed attempt altogether because Number one, while I think it was a failed attempt, and it, and I believe that Stormy is lying, because for one, like I was reading on True T's um, Instagram post, why would the post office send her a handwritten letter? Did they walk it over to her? Because I can't see them them mailing her a handwritten letter. That don't even make sense. Was it even on their letterhead? Did it come in an envelope or did they just hand it to her in her hand when she brought some more packages in? I mean, how did it reach her? Did she show the envelope that it came in? Was uh, was the envelope, uh, uh, the return address from the post office? Which, um, who was the, uh, who actually signed it? Did it say, um... I mean, who was the, the, the return sender? And a second reason why I don't believe Stormy's story is because Stormy got on live and we all know Stormy is known for them fake tears. If this had been true, first thing Stormy would have done is put on them fake tears and she would have had a lawyer sitting there probably a gang of lawyers sitting there because the post office we all know is big business and the, the post office has has bank millions of dollars 
Stormy probably, if the post office was liable for her products, for her customers not receiving the products, Stormy would have been calling all of her creditors, telling them, don't worry, the check is on its way. Because the post office wouldn't have wanted to go take her to court if they're liable. They would have just settled with her. And I'm quite sure she would have tried to settle for enough money to, to resolve all of them creditors. The ones that she owe now, the future ones, and the ones that's hiding in the bushes trying to wait for her to get home so they can serve her. Um, so they can get their coins that she owe them. So that's why I don't believe that this is true. Because, like I say, storming them fake tears, uh-uh. So I wonder, was this a, um, did Stormy do a Black Friday sale and she overpromised and under underdelivered? And be, instead of her just fess, fessing up and saying, well, oops, I made a mistake, and facing her customers head on to tell them the, the truth of what happened, that um, it's going to take a little longer. Did she, uh, because, and because she know that people were waiting to see if she was going to mess up yet again for this Black Friday sale, and she probably has messed up, or um, it, she's messed up in some type of way. So for her to... Um, save face she brought the post office into her mess or was this just a ploy for stormy to uh drum up some more customers for her business either way in my book it's a failed attempt because what you don't do is go bring other businesses into your mess and feeling is feeling as though it's okay, or you feel as though that because they are a bigger business that you can bl just blame them, and it's gonna be no harm, no foul if what you say is not true. I I just can't see the post office not responding to this because I seen on um when I was reading the Instagram post that you know a. Uh, couple of people that was in the comments was um was actually tagging the post office and as they should because we as people ship out packages um like it's christmas time now we're sending packages basically to friends family and stuff like that so j not just businesses use the post office us regular people use the post office as well so if there's a concern there's an issue then yes, I feel as though the the public should know about it. The people sh the uh, the people have a need to know or a right to know what's going on. That they have um, customer. I mean, they have workers that's untrustworthy. But if it's not true, then I feel as though that the post office should have a chance to defend themselves against the accusations. So hopefully that they um that they picked up on being tagged with, you know, the many people tagging them from the Instagram post that I read from uh, True T and that they're doing, that they're opening up their own investigation to find out what happened. Because for Stormy to go out and say something like this and if it's found to be um, she defamed him. I, I really hope that they sue because like I say, Sto I don't think that Stormy would hesitate if it, if it's true. I don't think Stormy would hesitate to sue them at all because for one, they're the bigger business and she, um, she trusts them just like other people trust the post office to make sure that what they, they're sending out reaches the person that, or the business or whatever is uh, said to be uh, received, that it reaches its destination. It shouldn't be interrupted. It shouldn't be harmed or anything. But I, I just can't see a postal worker risking. Um, they have Them people have great benefits. And, and, and I know them people have great benefits. And they have, um, they have great salaries. So I just can't see them risking their livelihood 
for a $25 product. I mean, people comes in all types. And is you can't say what, what a person would not do because you don't know what a person would do until they actually do it. But on the other hand, I just don't see it. And I wonder, um, will, uh, if the post office does their investigation, which I hope they do, I hope they don't respond prematurely. I hope they take their time, do the investigation. So when they go after her behind, I hope that they actually, um, actually uh, hold her accountable if she's found liable for uh, defamation because like I say with her I mean she has a brand that she stands behind and I'm quite sure they have a um, well ain't no quite sure they have a brand that they stand behind and as many times as the post office do get it wrong I'm quite sure they have the um the mindset of don't don't add nothing extra to our um to our brand. We don't need no more outside negativity or anything like that. So what Stormy did was instead of trying to hype up her business, she's defaming another business, bringing another business down. And if it's not true, I hope they hold her accountable. I really do. And but I wonder what if if there's a punishment for actually lying on the post office because they they are federal and I know that if somebody is found to be guilty of uh, op just opening up somebody else's mail you can go to jail so I wonder is there a punishment for just actually lying against the post office for stealing your products, stealing your mail and stuff like that because mail tampering is mail tampering. It doesn't matter if you're a worker or the public. The crime is still a crime. So Stormy was talking about Destiny didn't have enough to come for her. I hope Destiny, if she's actually lying on the post office, I want to see if Destiny, I mean, if Stormy have enough to come for the post office. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.